Ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, it is an honor to address this leaders' event of the Global Partnership to End Violence Against Children. Violence against children is a widespread phenomenon that too often goes undetected, unrecorded, and unpunished. Globally, one in two children suffers some form of violence each year, with devastating consequences for the child and ultimately for societies as a whole. Children are often the most vulnerable among us. As we work to overcome a global pandemic, while conflict rages around the world, they are at even greater risk. Strained resources and capacities, coupled with economic hardship and inequalities, leave children more exposed to exploitation, both online and offline, as well as recruitment by criminal and armed groups, including terrorist groups. The UN Office on Drugs and Crime stands with all our partners to better protect children through comprehensive responses that foster cooperation across different institutions, addressing root causes and promoting sustainable responses. Through our global program to end violence against children, we have provided technical assistance to over 50 countries in Africa, Latin America, and Asia to support institutions and actors from the justice, child protection, security, health and education sectors in preventing and confronting serious forms of violence against children. We will continue to work with all stakeholders to respond to violence against children and to empower children and young people as agents of change. I am encouraged that this global partnership brings together a diverse coalition of government, business, civil society, and community leaders, joining forces for a world where children are no longer subjected to violence. Working together, we can realize Sustainable Development Goal 16 and all of the SDGs to leave children and young people with a more prosperous world free from violence. Thank you.